Ooh. Okay, so <laughs> I just drove all night. It's now 5.23 a.m. And I left Bend last night, like a little after midnight. And I am now here in the northwestern part of Oregon. And I'm excited because this is the first time that I've ever driven on a beach. I'm about to enter the beach. And I drove here through the night so that I could be here for sunrise. Uh, it's like raining, misting. So it's not going to be a great sunrise, but this is still going to be the coolest experience because I've always wanted to drive on a beach. I've never had the opportunity. There's nowhere to do it in Southern California other than uh, Pismo Beach. And I didn't even know about that until I've been here in Bend. But shout out to 996 Road Trip for telling me about this and telling me how to enter it and how to leave the beach also. So I am super stoked. I wanted to make this happen before I go to Washington. So here we go. I'm about to actually drive on the beach. Also wish me luck in not getting stuck. I hope that that doesn't happen out here. Four wheel drive vehicles only. Honestly, the conditions are kind of sick. Oh, here we go. Woo! Oh, there's another car. I'm not the only one out here. Okay, look how sick this is. The Cayenne on the beach right here. Does it get better? Ah, oh, I can't wait. I'm about to take the sickest photos. Oh, this is so dope. I am so excited, so ecstatic right now. Ah, oh, this was worth driving all the way through the night and pulling an all-nighter just to see this. I, I don't think I could be here in like cooler conditions. I love the mist over the beach. Uh, it's gonna add a unique aspect and like just be so sick in photos. Uh, I'm gonna take photos. I'll throw them in right here, what I got. Uh, I'll keep you guys updated if this gets more interesting, but this is the coolest thing. All right, so now that I've gotten the photos that I wanted out of the way, now it's time to start doing dumb stuff in the sand. Uh, I'm gonna do a couple launches first and then after that I'm gonna see how deep I can drive into the water without getting too sketched out uh, I don't know if I'll sink in the sand, but usually like the sand is harder closer to the water. So Let's hope I don't die
All right, so we got a regular launch in. Now I'm gonna try a uh, low range launch with the center locking diff on and see how it does. Okay, now that we've got some hooning out of the way, we're gonna head over to the water and just kind of drive on the uh, on the more packed sand. Do you guys need a hand? Your part's fucking awesome. Thank you. Do you guys need a hand? Uh, I don't know. He's signed a lot off there. Now. Dug out a little bit, I think. But... I've got a legitimate tow rope. <laughs> no, that's not. That's not what we got. Hook on it. Don't pull one out with the, with the hook. You got one with a hook? No, not a hook. We could wrap it around something underneath there. All I got is a cab line, man. Cab. I got it. I know. <laughs> That guy just gave me the craziest look. Okay, so there's not much of it left, but on the beach, there's a shipwreck. Uh, so it's the shipwreck of Peter Irwindale. Um, it was a pretty large ship back in the day before it uh, got caught up in the sand and also kind of eroded away. Okay, so I'm about to exit the beach, but uh, but this has been the Cayenne's Beach Adventure. So, thanks for watching, guys. Like, subscribe, it means a lot. Thank you. Okay, so I'm not actually ending the video there. I got to the point where you're supposed to exit the beach, but somebody decided to get the car stuck. So, 
I have to drive back a few miles at least to get out of the beach. Look at this. Somebody brought their Ford Escape here, couldn't get out, and just left it. Oh. How shitty is this? And now I'm not sure if I'm thin enough to make it out on this side. These fuckers. That's super annoying. Whoever you are, you suck. Ah! Yep, so here I go, trying to find a different way out of the beach. All thanks to Ford Escape owners. You guys are awesome. Okay, so it looks like I have no choice but to exit the beach um, up these hills, basically. At Strawberry Knolls is where I'm exiting the beach. So I kind of have to like get a little bit of speed to, uh, to exit up, it looks like. So I'm going to try and get a video of me ramping up the hill. not make it. Alright, we're gonna try a different one. Uh, which one looks easier? Now we're going for the far left. <laughs> 